ejaculate more and have less risk of prostate cancer? Is that real? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how often you ejaculate might actually reduce your risk of prostate cancer. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about what your prostate really does. So prostate is a walnut-sized gland that sits right underneath your bladder, wrapping around the urethra. It functions to produce fluid or prostatic fluid that nourishes and protects sperm. It's like a factory that's constantly producing this prostatic fluid. In many men after 40, the prostate tends to enlarge. This is called benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. It's not cancer, but it can cause a lot of bothersome urinary symptoms like difficulty starting urination, weak stream, waking up a lot at night, but Separate from that, there's also a risk of prostate cancer, which increases with age, and one in eight men will develop prostate cancer. And this is where our conversation about ejaculation frequency becomes important. So why would how often you ejaculate even matter? Let me explain the theory. One is called the prostate stagnation hypothesis. Now this is the idea that when you ejaculate regularly, you help clearing out the prostate gland or cleaning the pipes. You're removing old cellular material, toxins, inflammatory substance that otherwise might just accumulate or build up. Think of it like cleaning out a filter versus letting the debris just sort of build up. When these substances sit in the prostate tissue for long periods of time, there is a possibility that you might get more inflammation or changes at the cellular level that increase cancer risk. And also there's some studies suggesting that frequent ejaculation might lead to higher testosterone levels. And we know that guys who have higher testosterone levels naturally have a lower risk of prostate cancer. So how many times should you ejaculate to reduce your risk of prostate cancer? Before I give you the answer, I have to tell you, there are so many changes you can make, not just ejaculating more often, but easy, simple, changes and habits that you can build over time that can allow you to have better sex, more pleasure, and ultimately better health. If you want to learn these things and you want me in your pocket teaching you and guiding you along the way, check out my new app. I'm so proud of it. It's called the Better Sex app. It's an AI powered app with a coach trained entirely by me and personalized to whatever goals you need to reach. Check it out at studio.com slash Rena. So where do we find out how much to ejaculate? There was a landmark study published with an update in European urology that followed thousands of men for nearly two decades. It included over 30,000 men who answered questions on how often they ejaculated in a 1992 questionnaire and they followed them through 2010. And basically they found that guys who ejaculated 21 times or more per month had a lower risk of prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated four to seven times per month. The risk was about 22% lower for guys between 40 and 49, and 19% lower for guys 20 to 29 when they started the study. Now, a more recent study in Southern Spain wanted to investigate this further. So they recruited about 456 men who had newly diagnosed prostate cancer and 427 men who didn't have prostate cancer. And they interviewed these guys about their average monthly ejaculation frequency during their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and one year before the interview. And they grouped this ejaculation frequency as zero to three times per month, four times per month, or more than four times per month. Now here is the kicker. Men with prostate cancer reported ejaculating less often in the year before diagnosis than men without cancer. Now, let me give you the numbers because I was a little bit surprised. So in guys who did have prostate cancer, only about 15% of them ejaculated four or more times, but those without prostate cancer, the number went up to 26%. Now, when you compare guys who ejaculated more than four times, so five or more times, men who ejaculated only four times had a 64% higher risk of prostate cancer those who ejected zero to three times had 138% higher risk. And those who never ejected had the highest risk at 271% higher. Also, the link was stronger for more aggressive or advanced cancers. And it was stronger for men who had moderate urinary symptoms combined with low ejaculation frequency. Before you guys start like marking your calendars to ejaculate, I want you to realize this is just one factor in a complex picture. Ejaculating more is not going to magically protect you from prostate cancer. It's not gonna allow you to stop screening for prostate cancer. You absolutely cannot neglect the other aspects of your health, diet, exercise, screenings, and expect ejaculation alone to protect you. It is one 
piece of the entire puzzle. If you learned something new, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. It allows other people to find our content and see our content so they can learn more things to improve their sex lives and their overall health. And as always, I'm gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.